Well, Chennai he knew that a second win in the group stages would put them in control of this group. They took on the I-League side, Churchill Brothers, who were beaten in their opening game by Mumbai, but it was a fighting, battling performance from Matthias Costa, and that was the same here. Chennai did have chances, Duca and Fallu both failing to get on the end of the corner, which would have given Chennai in a great start. They put lots of pressure on, had something like 61% possession in the first half and lots of chances, but they couldn't convert. And Churchill always looked dangerous on the break. Cromer getting up, but not getting up high enough to head that one down and get himself another goal. Five goals in his first two games for Churchill Brothers. Not to be for him, though, on that occasion. Just a little bit too high for him to get anything on the header. But they were showing that they could be dangerous. Cromer again trying to get in behind the defence. Turned Nari and Das, blocked by Das, who recovered well before Samik Mitra was able to gather the loose ball. And Uritapa was putting some good balls into the box. Sangwan, who we normally see putting balls in, was on the end of that one. A flicked header and a brilliant save by Fernandez just to flick the ball over the bar for the corner. Second half was much the same. Tapas free kick caused Fernandez a few problems as he came and didn't get a hand on it. Fortunately for him, it dropped wide. Carry Carry created a half opportunity. Fernandez equal to it with his legs. And it was that sort of afternoon for Chennai. Shows you that uh, Clemente, who was the hero of the match. Prashant came on and showed a clean pair of heels. He had options on, but decided to twist and turn and go for goal himself. And the shot was blocked from in front of goal by a cash. He certainly looked lively. But then Richard Costa, a second yellow card for the late challenge. And he was given a red card. Second player to be sent off in the Hero Super Cup. The other one also an I-League player. That was Nyotcha for Ranglas Punjab. Seemed to have won the ball cleanly and then went through the player. But the referee deciding that the intent on the tackle was worth a yellow. They had 10 men, Churchill, but they managed to stand firm. Nintoy should have done better with the cross, chipped it straight into the arms of Fernandez. He came on late on in the game. And then a late free kick was awarded right on the edge of the penalty area for the foul on Vance Ball by Gogu, who received a yellow card for protesting. And the free kick from Vance Ball, just over the top, it ended 0-0.